Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I have my front door open so you may hear cars drive by. The ticking that you hear is a haunted mansion clock from Disneyland and that's Bruce playing with the doll. Bruce, Bruce, let me film. This is gonna be a very quick video. I just wanted to show the difference between the cousin, brand new, and then what it will look like if you put photos, magazine cuttings, Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. And then this is the A5 Cousin Hun, which is the exact same thing as this one, except that this one has a hard cover. I put a clear cover on cover on it. This will be my writing journal. And other than maybe like a few stickers or maybe washi tape, this one I am hoping when I show this to you next year, it's gonna look like this. I don't want it thick at all. That's Bruce's toy. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, you want it? No? Okay, then let me keep filming. Let me just show you this. So this is what it looks like. And you know what? This is for 2022. This is what I did, 2022. Here's 2023. You can kind of see how thick it is. The binding is pretty good. It has um, held up. And if you watched my video of my five year A6 that I filmed at the end of last year, the binding for that one didn't hold up, but I don't think you're supposed to insert photos <laughs> for five years on almost every single page. But this is what this one looks like. And so this is my weekly layout. And I use this as my daily planner of the tasks that I plan to do every single day, which is what I'm doing in here. So it has washi tape and stickers. And you can see how well Bruce listens to me. This is what it looks like here. Oh, and then this is what I uh, did differently. The weekly layout has a vertical layout, right? So you plan this way. I want to do something slightly different and this is how I did it. So over here was my notes section that you would have over here. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Use my own stickers to mark the days. And so I tried to plan like this to have something different than that. And then I went back to this. So this works well. If this, if you feel like you don't have enough room to write in the column, visually, this looks like you have a bit more room to write and plan, right? Versus the uh, column. So this worked for a couple of weeks when I decided to try it. And then let's go to here. So last year I was using a daily calendar page, a page a day calendar, and it was from Farside. And so uh, the comics that I really enjoyed, I would go ahead and tape or glue down on top, onto the page. I printed out photos. This is Kit Kat and washi tape down here on the bottom. So you can kind of get an idea. If you really want a chunky Hobonichi or any planner, this is sort of how you can do it, of taping things down into it. So this will give you an idea of what I did. This is the Hobonichi paper that I taped in. So I had extra photos that I wanted to put on this gardening page. This is what I did. And then so you can see, you're gonna have an extra page. And then on the blank monthly pages, I use it as a currently page. So this was 2022. So let me just do a quick flip through of this one. So this is the weekly page. Again, tasks that I am going to do for that day. I would list them down. Washi tape, stickers. So for next year, this is going to be the same format. This is what I'm going to do. I am not using a happy planner for next year because I felt like I was duplicating the information on my happy planner into my cousin and um, it just took up too much time to copy the information from one place to another, which is why I'm not showing the happy planner anymore because that now has become my catch up planner where at the end of the week I uh, go through this and then I copy this information into my happy planner. 
Now this is my daily pages. So as you can see, I cut out magazine uh, recipes. I would tape it down if I had nothing interesting to say or uh, no photos to put down. Here's Kit Kat again. This is the monthly layout. In this particular case, since it was Easter in April, I just went ahead and put down this Easter basket and just decided to call it good. And then this was a picture that I found in a magazine that I just, I really like the drawings. And this one I think had more photos and magazine cuttings than Tippins. This was a, <laughs> my husband wanted to do a newlyweds game questionnaire because he wanted to see how well we would match up when it came to asking the questions and then whether our answers would match up. And we actually did really well. So I did some drawings. So here was a currently page that I did. I still needed, I still need to put something here, but here was my doing, reading, and as you can see, I didn't read much. That's Bruce, our English Bulldog. Ooh. This was when I was on a found footage movie kick on YouTube, uh, and I spent the weekend as well as Monday just watching a bunch of uh, scary movies. I love found footage movie because you know that everybody at the beginning of the movie is gonna disappear or die. Those were my sketches. Some stamps. So that's just a quick look of that. A chunky cousin. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you like to see generally after the pin videos of my Hobonichi. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you later. Bye!